So here we're going to talk about the evolution of a retrofit. So we have our old house that's operating off a gas boiler. We want to get rid of that gas boiler and we want to put something more efficient in. So we're going to use an air source heat pump. So this house is costing us a lot of money. We put our air source heat pump in, but because this house isn't efficient, this isn't efficient. So this is still costing us a lot of money. So the first thing we normally do is we're going to add some insulation. We add our insulation up, going around the building. Great, so we've, add, we've added our insulation. This is going to make this building a little bit more efficient. It's going to save us a bit of money. However, we're still losing energy through air loss. And this will be through any gaps, through windows, coming through, any pipe penetrations and the like. So what we want to do is add our nice purple vapor control line. This will seal the whole building up, making sure we've got no air loss. Because air loss equals energy loss. So now we've made the building even more efficient. So we're not losing air loss, heat loss. We've got our insulation. This is now working a bit better. We're saving a little bit more money here. However, we have stale air and moisture build up within the building. So our next task is to get rid of that stale air. And we need to add our heat recovery. So we need to add our heat recovery. In. And we want to be taking out the warm air but recycling it back in and having fresh air in. It's a bit more complex than that, but so now we have our building that's got fresh air. We're well insulated. We've got our air tightness. We're really efficient now, on the, well, really efficient on the energy. However, we still feel a bit cold. We're rocking in at about 21 degrees inside this building, but it still feels cold. The reason for that is, is because we have our windows here. These are still double or triple, uh, single glazed windows and they need upgrading. Because what happens is the warm air hits this window and then it's cooled rapidly, which sends the hot air shooting down, which creates this sort of movement of air within the building, meaning me standing here, I feel cold. So, what we have to do is upgrade our windows. So we've got triple glazed windows. So we're not losing the energy through the windows. So we've got our em envelope is now a complete thermal break. We've got our air tightness. We've got a heat recovery. And we have our air source heat pump working as efficient as it can. Now, my building only costing a little bit of money.